We are less than six months away from Election Day, but candidates are already gearing up for November. Kentucky's Republican Party says they are united to defeat Governor Andy Beshear this fall. Republicans hold advantages in the legislature and the statewide offices. Now they say they will work to keep those positions and take the governor's office. Phil Pendleton has the details. Daniel Cameron gave us a few hints on what may be the strategy heading into the fall race against a governor with a very high approval rating across Kentucky, namely going after a governor, blaming him for some of the problems dealing with fentanyl as well as violent crime in the state's largest cities. We're going to remind people of what his actual record is. It's a record that does not reflect the values of the men, women, and children of all 120 uh, counties. Cameron was flanked by House and Senate leaders along with the Republican winners of those seeking five constitutional offices. Cameron is the Attorney General. Bashir was before he became governor. But Cameron says he's done a better job in fighting drugs, especially when it comes to drugs coming from Mexico. And this governor has sat idly by and said nothing about the Joe Biden administration and their radical agenda and how it's affected Kentucky. Senate President Robert Stivers and House Speaker David Osborne also at the news conference saying that as part of the legislature's agenda over the past several years, they pushed pro-family, pro-business, pro-growth agenda, and they say that Andy Bashir has taken credit for a lot of the things the Republican-led legislature has passed. In Frankfurt, Phil Pendleton, now back to you. Thank you, Phil. Cameron also says he wants to see Education Commissioner Jason Glass fired, claiming he was essentially appointed by Governor Bashir. Well, Bashir didn't hire Glass, but he does have the power to appoint some of the state school board members who then name commissioners.